Hi everyone, welcome. I'm down here in my wormery and I, uh, I've got a bin over here on the bench. It's a Red Wiggler bin. It's been in service for I think 140 days. Eight days ago we fed it its 16th feeding and it was really kind of a up in the air thing. I was really open to possibly continuing in the system, continuing to compost more and more kitchen scraps for further breakdown of more stuff or the other thing that I um, proposed as a possible thing to do in here was to stop feeding and to initiate what I refer to as foraging in the bin so that would just mean withholding any um, fresh feedings let them break down all the residual bits of bedding and food scraps that are in the bin because the stuff's everywhere if you just look around there's little chunks of pretty much you name it. One prominent thing that you see a lot of is these little stems of leaves. It'd be really nice to see a lot of those get broken down. Maybe it's just the ones out on the surface. Maybe the ones submerged down in the damp material or getting worked, or at least that's my hope. This piece of paper's really worked too. So our reason for checking in here today was um, really just to see how it's doing because even though I was up in the air with going with either foraging or further feedings, the comments were unanimous pretty much. Everyone suggested, hey, time to forage, no need for further feedings in here, let's let this thing start steering um, in the direction of harvest. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to let this system now just, you know, rely on its own resources, whatever's still in here as far as leftovers. And eight days ago when we last checked in here, it did receive a feeding of pumpkin bits and maybe some coffee that would have been applied right down the middle so I guess we could check on how that stuff's doing if there's anything left after eight days I don't know what to expect I do remember placing this cork down in here this oddball item in my bins these chink these little chunks of um, seed I, I took the seed and I sliced it it's an avocado pit instead of putting it in whole I actually sliced it into little pieces but now that I'm encountering them they're in still in, intact in one piece I lately I've been trying to bust them up like this a little bit when I can if I remember but there are a good number of them floating around and they're pretty soft they just crumble apart kind of like um, almost like peanut butter consistency so I would have blended some of those older foods like those slices of avocado pit in with the fresh foods that I added this looks like just a chunk of bedding probably or maybe cardboard paper yeah hard to say yeah these these are the things that I really like to see broken down so foraging yeah, in my book usually can consist of the worms just going at it um, breaking this stuff that they're living in down further for maybe another month or so depends on how well they do um, I won't expect everything to be gone you know I won't expect that cork to be gone that's for sure <laughs> um, so I'll fish out big things that I um, I don't succeed in having the worms break down because there might be a who knows a banana stem like this but after letting this system go for maybe another month or so um, without any feedings I got a feeling that that piece of um, leftover banana peel that stem is going to become a popular item it's not going to last long here and there I'm just bumping into more chunks of this seed that I'm breaking up into smaller pieces I don't see anything that resembles the pumpkin that I placed in here last week unless this actually this could be a little piece of leftover pumpkin from last week's feeding I did actually find a little bit of it it seems Ooh. Okay, I gotta be careful. I guess that's one of the primary reasons we decided it was time to um, stop adding more stuff to this system is because, you know, I, I push a little bit of material off to the edge and I almost dump it off the side onto the table. So I, I do feel like I'm kind of out of space in here in terms of adding more stuff. But I don't have a problem checking in on it on a regular basis. Make sure the moisture level's in good shape. Make sure everything's breaking down gradually maybe help some things that 
could use some help um, in the breakdown process by sort of breaking them up a little bit maybe because it would be really nice to come back in here in another couple weeks and find no large chunk materials like those anymore or at least nothing like the banana it would be nice to see the banana stem gone it would be nice to see um, a lot of those seed bits that I've now crumbled up gone it would be nice to see some of this bedding broken down breaking it I think breaking it up into smaller chunks probably also helps a little bit and obviously the one thing that's always the common theme in my tubs is these stems <laughs> I'd really like to see more of these stems broken down and it is really nice when you finally you know come back into your bin after a certain period of time and you do finally start to see that they're vanishing gradually but here it's going to take a little bit longer I believe for that to occur so we're going to just let this foraging continue now officially um, last week it was I guess the unofficial start since it was still up in the air as to whether we would initiate foraging in here or not but now that it's been decided and thank you for everyone for your feedback in the comments to, to help me make that decision um, so I'm just going to do regular check-ins you know this was eight days since we last checked in here um, the stuff we fed them last time is for the most part gone some of these older things that are you know stuff that's been in the bin for a while if we can help them break down by busting them up or tearing them up or whatever it takes then um, I'm all for that I'm all for uh, just having a good check-in with the worms too and you know this piece of paper here I'm starting to feel like uh, it, you know it's just gonna go <laughs> and it serves very little purpose out on the top of the um, bin so I, I'm thinking I'm just gonna kind of blend it in and hopefully it'll help it break down a lot more quickly than if it just sat out on the surface anymore. Give this stuff a chance to break down too. And the only thing about the cork is, I guess, to keep it somewhere near the middle. Because that's kind of where you might go looking for stuff. <laughs> if you were to come back in here. And if, you know, over a certain period of time, everything in here broke, broke down completely. I think that cork would probably still be intact. I don't think the worms would be able to make a whole lot of use of it, but it's um, it's definitely more fragile than it used to be. You know how tough cork is. I think I can probably break that thing much more easily than before it was placed into worm bins so long ago. Stuff on this edge feels a little bit more dry and crumbly, but it still has a good number of worms hanging out in it. All the material just feels so nice and fluffy. This is some sort of a stem of a, a pumpkin, a little pumpkin or something. So, oh, here too, I'm able to almost, yeah. Well, at least at least flake off certain little bits of it. But yeah, there, I just broke a little piece of it off and it's kind of crumbling in my hands as well. Incredible. <laughs> so cool watching stuff gradually break down, even though it does take, you know, a good amount of time. So, I don't think there's much more left to be done in here. I thought we'd actually see more leftovers, but um, the few leftovers that we did encounter, we uh, kind of helped break some of them up. I think that's going to be good. And at this point, I don't think going back to the center is really going to yield any more uh, kind of focused or concentrated worm activity, because I don't think there's... A whole lot of anything going on down there anymore as far as leftovers or food so next time we check in here the worm population will probably be a little bit more scattered and just hanging out throughout the bin and I do want to try to keep this thing pretty well covered you know because I, um, I I don't like the idea of certain parts of it just drying out and becoming inaccessible for the worms to hang out in so by putting this plastic cover back on pretty thoroughly I think uh, I think we'll be able to help preserve the moisture that's in the system and the system does feel like it's got pretty much the perfect level of moisture in here nice and cool and damp flaky so the system's doing pretty good and now I think we can officially say that we're in foraging and I don't know I wonder how long it'll take you know sometimes I go 30 days 40 days who knows it really depends on how well the um, the stuff breaks down over time. So we'll see. We'll check in 
But for today, I think we're done here. Um, just got a couple things I need to clean up and put away, but I'm not going to keep you around for that because it's boring. Before I go, let me just really quickly say thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, please remember to leave me a thumbs up. That's always really appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, please also consider subscribing to the channel too. That's really appreciated as well. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching.